Good day everyone. Today we are going to discuss and tackle about the Republic Act number no. 1425, also known as the Rizal Law. So what is this all about? Republic Act number no. 1425 was approved on June 12, 1956 and was signed by President Eisenhower. It is an act of mandating all public and private institutions, including the state colleges and universities, to include the Dr. Rizal's life, works, and writings as a course across programs. So basically, this is the reason why we have this subject. In all schools in the Philippines, whether it's private or public, we need to take this subject, which is the Rizal, because it is mandated by the law. Okay, so the complete name of this RA is an act to include in the curricula of all public and private schools, colleges, and universities courses on the life, works, and writings of Jose Rizal, particularly his novels, Noli Mitangere and El Filbusterismo, authorizing the printing and distribution thereof and for other purposes. Now let's move on to the provisions of the Rizal Law. Section 1 Courses on the Life works and writings of Jose Rizal, particularly his novel Nole Metangere and Il Filibusterismo, shall be included in a curricula of all schools, colleges and universities, public or private, provided that in a collegiate courses, the original or unexpurgated editions of the Nole Metangere and Il Filibusterismo or their English translations shall be used as basic texts. The Board of National Education is hereby authorized and directed to adopt forthwith measures to implement and carry out the provisions of this section, including the writing and printing of appropriate primers, readers, and textbooks. The Board shall, within 60 days from the effectivity of this Act, promulgate rules and regulations, including those of a disciplinary nature to carry out and enforce the provisions of this Act. The Board shall promulgate rules and regulations providing for the exemption of students for reasons of religious belief, stated in a sworn written statement, from the requirement of the provision contained in the second part of the first paragraph of this section, but not from taking the course provided for in the first part of said paragraph. Said rules and regulations shall take effect 30 days after their publication in the first official gazette. Section 2. It shall be obligatory in all schools, colleges, and universities to keep in their libraries an adequate number of copies of the original and unexpurgated editions of the Noli Metangere and El Filbusterismo, as well as of Rizal's other works and biography. So, Section 2 talks about the requirement for all schools, colleges, and universities to have sufficient and unexpurgated copies of Rizal works and writings in their respective libraries, especially his novels, Noli Mitangere and El Filibustismo. Section 3. The Board of National Education shall cause the translation of the Noli Mitangere and El Filibustismo as well as other writings of Jose Rizal into English, Tagalog, and the principal Philippine dialects, cause them to be printed in cheap, popular editions, and cause them to be distributed free of charge to persons desiring to read them through the Peruk organizations and barrio councils throughout the country. Section 4. Nothing in this act shall be construed as amendment a repelling section 927 of the Administrative Code, prohibiting the discussion of religious doctrines by public schools teachers and other persons engaged in, in any public schools. So in section 4, it is stated that the discussion of Rizal's idea does not violate the state's prohibition on the discussion of religious beliefs in the country's public learning institution. Section 5. The sum of 300,000 pesos is hereby authorized to be appropriated out of any fund not otherwise appropriated in the National Treasury to carry out the purposes of this Act. Section 6. This Act shall take effect upon its approval. Okay, so June 12, 1956, 
Finally, the Rizal Bill was approved and became Rizal Law, and it is more than 50 years old now, since 1956. So those are the provisions of the Rizal Law. So for those institutions that tries to refuse this law, the National Board of Education will be responsible for implementing rules, protocols, and regulation as well as punishment for those who will refuse to follow this law. Republic Act 1425 is an official document which requires all schools in the country to include Rizal's life and his works in the curriculum. This is to somehow enlighten the students about the life of the national hero and at the same time rekindle the nationalism that should be lie within the hearts of every Filipino. The objective is to instill the knowledge about patriotism as much as possible and they believe that it should start with the youth through education. This is a good implementation since most of the children in today's generations are so fascinated with the trend from abroad that they forget to appreciate the wonderful things that can be found in the country. Important point from RA1425 is whereas all educational institutions are under the supervision of and subject to regulations by the state and all schools are enjoined to develop moral character personal discipline, civic conscience, and to teach the duties of citizenship. It is very important to use our educational institutions to instill these values to the children who are at their prime years of growing and learning. Individuals formulate their priorities and career paths in life during their educational years, particularly at the college level, and it is critical that institutions make students realize that the country should be a part of their priorities and that serving one's country is an innate and inborn duty for all. Furthermore, instilling in the youth a profound and authentic moral character as well as a strong sense of personal discipline would result in competent, genuine, and selfless Filipinos of the future who would transform the Philippines from a poor country to a globally competitive nation. And that would be all for our report. Thank you for watching.